Lead a one-man revolution from your armchair. Talking cliches to listeners that aren't there. You call it warfare, but your wars aren't fair. If they were, they'd be suicide bombers in arms fairs. YouTube, salute. This is not getting enough um, attention around YouTube or social media. But I wanted to um, let y'all know because all the situations going on with um, Donald Trump and Iran. A U.S. soldier from Chicago area was among three people killed in an attack on a military base in Kenya. So WGN has confirmed that it was a 23-year-old Army Specialist Henry Mayfield Jr. of Hazel Crest. He was um, announced dead Sunday. Mayfield joined the Army in 2018 to help pay for um, school. Mayfield Jr.'s father, Henry Mayfield Sr., is heartbroken. And after hearing the news, he said that his son was great and they love, they're going to miss him. And Mayfield Jr., just to give a little background about him, he graduated from Hillcrest High School. He briefly attended Northern Illinois University before joining the Army June 2018 to help pay for school. Um, this is very devastating. Two other Americans, both contractors with the U.S. Department of Defense, were also killed. Members of the extremist group Al Shabaab overran an airfield near a U.S. military base, destroying planes and equipment. The airstrip is near the Somalian border and is used by U.S. forces. Kenya's military said at least four attackers were killed. Al Shabaab claimed responsibility for the assault. Also, um, Mayfield's junior mother, she said that they wasn't really too much worried about him going to Kenya. They thought it was like safer for him to be out there. They didn't, you know, they didn't, they didn't expect that to happen. But um, I want to send my condolences out to the Mayfield's family and the other two um, people that actually passed away. Um, sending positive energy this way. I'm a veteran, so you know, I've seen people pass away serving yeah um you know it's sad that this is not even getting no attention because everybody's focused on iran and donald trump what he gonna do and this and this and this but i care about this right here this is more important it's not even about the views right now it's about this putting this information out here because this young man put his life on the line you know he he wanted to go the military, he wanted to get the, you know, the, the post 9-11 GI Bill, whatever it's called now. Um, he wanted to, you know, utilize his benefits probably when he get out. Maybe he was going to do 20 years. It's hard to say. We don't really know. Young man, man. I remember being that age. I remember being that age and um, putting my energy into the military, knowing that it's a big risk because you don't know what's going to happen, you know. All you pray for is the best and you just want to come back home. And now, you know, the family has to bury him. And what do the family get? Usually they'll just get a flag from the military and a life insurance policy that he signed up for already in there. So that probably goes to the first two beneficiaries. Maybe his dad's mom. I don't know. Maybe he had a girlfriend, wife. I don't know. But when I was in there, it was about three hundred thousand dollars, but it could be more now. It could be four hundred thousand. Could be five hundred thousand. Could be half a million. I don't know. But at that time, it was three hundred thousand when I was in the military. Like I said, man, this is sad. Um, you know, damn. I mean, shit is getting real around the world. It's always been real around the world. Don't get me wrong, but we don't know what's going to happen next. I just, you know, feel that. 5,000 troops were deployed to, you know, Saudi Arabia, Persian Gulf area to get ready if something is going to happen. We don't know what's going to happen next. Um, if you have loved ones that's in the military right now, please try to get in contact with them. I don't care if they're not in the Middle East or North Africa, wherever they are in the world, people should be getting in contact. I've been contacting some of my friends that still, um, active duty and they're still serving in the military some of them are in the navy army marines we should still contact our people because we don't know what's going to happen with this situation with trump and iran or the u.s military in iran we don't know but 
Let me know. Post your comments below. Host smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. Um, if you'd like to support, please share my videos or you can support the Patreon. I have Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs. Everything's in the description. Until next time, peace.